F1 released as Formula One in the USA is a 1993 racing video game published by Domark, based on Vroom, a game developed in 1991 for the Atari Street by French company Lancor. It was released for the Mega Drive, Genesis, Master System, Game Gear, and Amiga. It spawned a sequel in 1994 titled F1 World Championship Edition, and the game engine was reused in Kawasaki Superbike Challenge. It was one of the most popular racing games in the console, mostly thanks to the smooth and fast game engine. There are no major differences between the European and North American Sega versions, except naming the European version is simply named F1, and the lack of battery save in the American version. Gameplay The game is fully licensed by the FIA and Fuji Television, which means all drivers, teams and tracks are fully licensed. The player drives in the fictional Domark team with James Tripp a programmer within Domark and producer of the game billed as Jim Tripp, facing drivers such as Ricardo Patrese and Michael Schumacher Benetton, Jean Alessi and Gerhard Berger Ferrari, Mark Blundell and Martin Brundle Ligier, Johnny Herbert and Alessandro Zanardi Lotus, Michael Andretti and Mika Hakkinen McLaren, Andrea de Cesaris and Yukio Katayama Tyrell, and finally Damon Hill and Alain Prost Williams. Ayrton Senna then in McLaren is absent due to his endorsement to Sega's Ayrton Senna's Super Monaco GP2. There are 12 tracks, Interlagos, Imola, Barcelona, Monte Carlo, Montreal, Castellet, Silverstone, Hockenheim, Spa, Monza, Ishtaril and Adelaide. Compared to the real 1993 season, several tracks are missing, such as Kyolami, Donington Park, Magni Kors replaced by Castellet, Hungaroring and Suzuka, but the order of the races is correct. While the track layouts are correct as of 1993, due to the impossibility of actually replicate the physics behind a Formula One car all tracks are filled with obstacles close to the track, such as signs, adboards or platforms above the track to increase the difficulty level, and are seven laps long. The player can train on a given track, play an arcade mode where points are given for overtaking and running, and subtracted for being overtaken or the whole championship, that can be composed by any number of tracks, from just one to the complete twelve. There are four difficulty levels novice, amateur, professional and expert, each one of each increases not only the player and competitor's speed, but also decreases the damage tolerance of the car. In addition to a two-player split-screen mode, a turbo. Mode allowed to increase the sense of speed by reducing sprites and polygons making them roughly the same size as in split screen and running the game at a higher speed. Before and after the race the player is able to set up tire hardness, wing angle and the transmission, and can be forced to quit if the player fails to make a pit stop to replace worn out tires, or simply overheats the engine by rapid downshifting at high speed. Over revving is possible with automatic gears by knocking on other cars' tires, making the player car jump, causing a drastic increase in the RPM noticeable by a loud squealing noise. On the Silverstone track there appears to be two retired cars, one by the pits and one halfway round. Topic Reception. CU Amiga gave the Amiga version of F1 an 84% rating and called it a superb two-player game, but pales a little when going solo. Computer Gaming World in August 1994 rated the game 2.5 stars out of 5, praising its speed but criticizing its realism, handling, and features like slipstreaming. Mega placed the game at number 17 in their top Mega Drive games of all time. <laughs>